testing hip flexion against gravity position, patient will be seated with the knees against the table. Your patient can support themselves in this position if they need to. It won't affect the measurement. First thing you will have your patient do is perform full hip flexion to the best of their ability. So Rachel, I want you to bring your knee to your chest, as close as you can get. Can now come back down. I would classify that as a three because she was able to go into the full range of motion while in this position. Now to test for a four or five, I will add resistance just proximal to the knee, but remain on the femur. And then I will stabilize the hip right back here. Okay, Rachel, I want you to bring that knee up halfway and then I will add resistance. Resist me, three, two, one. Now let it back down. Depending on that resistance given, I will classify that as a four or a five. Testing hip flexion, gravity eliminated position. Patient will be in a sideline position. I will be testing the bottom leg. So in order for this leg to perform hip flexion, moving across the table, I will need to support the top leg myself. Like this. Okay, Rachel, I want you to bring this leg into hip flexion for me, and then back. Because there is movement at that joint here, I will classify that as a two. If there is no movement, I will palpate here at the hip for this psoas major. If I feel this muscle firing, that is a one. And if I do not feel a fire, that is a zero.